right, so I'm going to go to the store. Where did I put those keys? All right. Ganondorf, meet your maker. Hello? Hey, Jared, I can't find my key. You're still looking for the key? What temple are you in? The a home a temple? Is that the Deku tree? Oh, um, I think the key is down the stairs to the left. Okay, I'm downstairs. All right, now to your right, there should be a room with a locked chest, and inside the chest is the key, but the room is locked. I have to find a key to find my key? Obviously. Now the only way to get that key is to first obtain it from a Gorgon by exchanging it for Boots of Leaping, and you can't do that until you win a battle with Darth Sidious on top of Mount Doom, but you can't even think about that until you first find the Ark of the Covenant. Now before you do that... Two thousand years later. All right. After winning a fight with Aquaman in the Temple of Doom, I then got this Marauder's Map, which led me to the Temple of the Crystal Skull, which gave me this sonic uh, screwdriver. Wait. I even used it to kill the red-headed dude. Uh, what did you say, Ganon Dork? Am I any closer to finding my car keys? Oh, car keys? Oh, I thought you were talking about the video game, Legend of Zelda. What? Wait, you said you killed a red-headed person. Did you kill someone? Um, uh, please leave your message after the tone. Beep! Well, uh, <sighs> Could it be? Finally! Shivers down your spine. Welcome to another episode of Gumps Gizmos, where if you haven't played Legend of Zelda, then that joke probably was very lost on you. And if you have played Legend of Zelda, then you're probably still very confused. I... I don't even know what just happened. But anyway, this week I wanted to harken back to a time when I was a kid. You know, just being a kid, being free, sitting on the couch, eating potato chips, playing Legend of Zelda. And by playing, I mean watching my brother play, because I wasn't, I couldn't, I couldn't play, only my brother could play. But anyway, everyone knows that glorious, beautiful moment in Legend of Zelda, in every game, when you first open up a chest, you hear the music, you hear the chest creak open, Link, Link sees what's in it, he's surprised, but no, I don't know what's in there, and then, boom! The reveal of something laying like a crossbow or hookshot or gem or whatever the credit. There are, there are a lot of different things. But I really want to encapsulate that moment in this week's gizmo. So I created... The Legend of Zelda Treasure Chest. Now, this thing, I think, is one of my favorite Gumps gizmos so far. It looks... Really cool, and what's even cooler is... Doo 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 doo! What's on the inside of it? It looks like you have a little floating rupee there. A, uh, not a ruby, rupee. Get it right, Jack. And just floating in there, it's a, a cool like encasement, but actually... It's just a reflection of a mirror. And... You can hide your drug money. Just right in there. So if you're a drug dealer, then this video is for you. If you're a drug dealer and a video game fanatic, this video is for you. You just slide it back in, and there you go. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this today in under... Tw uh, it, uh, it took me a long time to make it. In under, let's say, $10, I think. No, let's say 15 just to be safe. Now to make this build, you're going to need a few things. One is a small rectangular mirror, Two is some oven baked clay, three some popsicle sticks, and some cardboard. Well, well you're gonna need some more things, but I sort of forgot to film them, so you'll you'll catch on as we go. 
So the first step is to remove the mirror from the frame. Now, I got this mirror really cheap at Walmart, it was on clearance for whole back to school events. Uh, you can get them really cheap, this is just for a locker. I, I never really got it, why, why do you really need a mirror to put in the locker? Can you just use your phone or whatever? You know what, when I go to college, I'm gonna get a mirror like this. I'm gonna, are there lockers in college? I'm gonna make a locker and put a mirror in it and I will be the best person ever. I'm getting off track here. Anyway, then you use the measurements from the mirror to create the cardboard box, which, is, which will be the frame of the chest. After you've got that done, you need to make the chest look wooden by adding some wood onto it. Who would have guessed? And you just glue on the popsicle sticks, make sure you cut them evenly, and try not to splinter them. I used a hot glue gun, but you can use Elmer's or tape or whatever you want. I don't, uh, you, as long as it works, it works. Spooky, scary skeleton. Now to give the box that brown color that makes it really pop, there are several ways to do this. You could either use brown paint, which would cover the texture and would really destroy the purpose of having wood on the box anyway, or two, you could use wood stain. I didn't have any wood stain, so I just mixed some brown paint with some water and used a cloth to color the wood. And this maintained the texture of the wood, which makes it look really authentic and cool. Now to make it look more like the Legend of Zelda box chest thing, it's a chest, I remembered the treasure, that's the name of it, you have to add on some edgings to it. Now originally, I wanted to use actual metal, like I was going to bend some some metal and spray paint it black, but it was a lot easier just to use electrical tape, and it looks very clean too. After all that, I added the extra detail of using just a hot glue gun to glue the little, little spots on there, and that really adds another level of detail to it. It's a level up. Uh, Ah, there's a video game reference I just made. I didn't even mean to make that. That was very good, Grant. Pat on the back. I'm getting off track again. Now for the coup de gras, the rupee. Now just take out the oven baked clay and I, you, you see I used a kitchen knife to do this. I do not, not recommend it. I don't know why I was an idiot to do that. I guess there was a serial killer side of me just wanted to get my hands on a knife and slice things up. Uh, but anyway, it works. And you see, you just have to make half of a ruby because the mirror's gonna mirror the other half. And now I made a few items I thought for the chest a ruby and also a key. The key didn't really turn out too well, but I put them both in the oven for about 15 minutes. And when you take them out of the oven, remember to wear a glove, please. Or a napkin, or just anything but your bare skin, please. So after my third degree burns, I was able to glue on the ruby, and it is complete! Thank you for watching this episode of Gumptious Gizmos. This was really fun to make, I enjoyed doing it, and if you want to see another Gumptious Gizmos, click right here to learn how to make a DIY remote-controlled BB-8. Thank you so much, and click on this jewel if you want all your dreams to come true. And subscribe, but to be honest, isn't that everyone's dream? No, just me? Okay. Anyway, bye.